This is Jozef Not here and welcome to the next video in the CFD summer series in 2020 where I'm talking about CFD related topics and especially open foam related topics. And today I would like to talk about post processing in open foam and not specially post processing in Paraview but actually a run time post processing and I have a couple of tutorials on my Patreon page uh, where I utilize runtime post processing but in this video I wanted to ask you guys do you know about this possibility do you utilize it what is your experience what do you like what do you dislike so for example I have here my terminal and if I go here into open form and then this version I don't know maybe we can go into the recent release and then if I just open up here in the explorer this folder if you are in Linux you can just start Nautilus so then if I go here in the recent release I could go also to version 1912 to etc and then case dicts and here to post processing there are several templates for functions that you can add in control dict to um, evaluate different uh, things for example the kuro number or uh, the mach number or q uh, q or r wall heat flux wall shear stress y plus so there are a lot of templates you can calculate the gradient of fields the divergence ddt so you have a lot of possibilities to calculate things and during runtime so this is the cool thing while the simulation is running you can uh, calculate it and not after the simulation finished so once the simulation finishes you already have the data available or you have, can calculate the flow rate here. Forces, maybe this is the, uh, the well-known feature as a function. Then you can uh, do graphs, Lagrangian. Then you can uh, export uh, the residuals, for example. Pressure, then also probe values. So you can define coordinates and then get out the velocity, the pressure, the temperature, and uh, you can run a scalar transport equation in your sim uh, in your uh, solver and visualize streamlines so runtime uh, exporting of scene uh, streamlines as well as surfaces so isosurfaces and uh, slices throughout your geometry so there is a lot already here regarding runtime post processing and I want to ask you guys what do you think about it do you utilize it do you like it do you don't you dislike it please comment in the comment section below and Tell me that, tell me your experience. Maybe you know of a cool feature that I didn't mention here. So that was what I wanted to talk to you about in this video. I hope that you liked this video and you liked the CFD Summer Series. With that, I would like to thank you for watching and listening. And I hope to see you next time.